Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time here, my name is Wana Udo and every week I share content that can help you master your personal finance and grow your wealth. Now in today's video, we're going to discuss when life hits you and how to navigate some of life's challenges. Now if you don't know who I am, um, like I said, my name is Wana Udo and um, I am based in Farmington, Connecticut, which is um, in the East Coast of um, the United States and my journey you know like I said ev everybody has a story and right now so many people are going through very challenging times but I'm here to tell you that no matter where you are today no matter what's going on in your life today you can pull yourself up you can get yourself out of most uh, situations that we find ourselves and there's always a brighter future for everyone so in a nutshell my story began, you know, I originally came from Nigeria. I left Nigeria back in the 90s, um, early 90s. And um, I went to France. I was in Paris for a couple years. And then I came to the United States in 1992 and, you know, finished my MBA in a business administration. And, you know, that was pretty much um, my beginning. So um, just to go a little f further back, um, I used to, I had my um, degree, my bachelor's degree in civil engineering, and I worked for Shell in a place called Port Harcourt in Nigeria. And then I left Nigeria back in 1990 and I went to France. And then from there, I went to the United States where I finished my MBA and settled down in the United States. Now, I also, at that time, I understood the importance of having your own business, of creating multiple sources of income. So I decided to start my own franchise business. So I became a Subway restaurant franchise owner uh, from 1999 to 2007, 2008, when we had the financial crisis. And as a result of what was going on at that time, uh, for most people that know my story, I ended up losing everything and had to start from scratch. So if you are going through such a, a similar situation right now and you think, you know, um, the end is here for you. I'm here to tell you that you can take heart and you can, you know, dust yourself up and keep moving. Okay. You shouldn't let, you know, temporary setbacks dictate what happens to you permanently. Okay. So you want to make sure that if you're going through struggles right now, you know, just get yourself up and stay motivated. You know, there are many resources online on YouTube and other social media platforms where you can you know find the inspiration and also the motivation for you to be able to get yourself back in shape so in my situation i lost everything and it was a very depressing time for me because after owning your business for so many years and now you have to go apply for a job um, it makes things very difficult because you already have a different mentality because you were um, a creator and you were you know, once an employer, employing people, giving people jobs, and now you have to now go back to the workforce um, asking to be employed. Okay, so it's a very depressing situation. I don't know if you've been there before. There are lots of people who have gone through the same situation. Um, I'm not just unique. There are other people that have gone through similar experiences. So I'm here to tell you that no matter where you are in life, you shouldn't give up. Okay, you should never you know, rest until you achieve your goals, okay? No matter what life throws at you. I mean, there've been, you know, um, instances of people that have lost everything um, and got everything back, you know, ten, tenfold. So you can't let whatever situation um, you find yourself in, you know, put you down. So fast forward a few years. So back in 2019, you know, um, I went through a divorce. And while I was going through a divorce, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. So the tail end of 2019, um, I had to have surgery, but I didn't have my surgery until um, March of 2020, right before the health situation started. So I had to go through surgery to get that prostate cancer taken care of and then move on from there. Um, at the same time, you know, after just going through a divorce. So you might relate to who I am. You might relate to what I'm going through. You might not relate to what I'm going through, but I'm here to tell you that no matter what life throws at you, no matter what obstacles you meet in life, you got to make sure that you stay focused. You surround yourself with positive people, have the right mindset to get things going. Okay. So life 
happens to all of us you know you can you can watch your diet you can do everything right you can do all the right things and still end up with a disease or with sickness or accidents happen to to people so like i once heard you know um bad things sometimes happen to good people so you know because you're sick because you have a, a life-threatening injury or whatever should not stop you from keep pushing keep trying to achieve your goals keep trying to you know get to the next level okay so this video is just to motivate people because i know there's a lot of tension right now with all the um things happening in eastern europe and all that stuff right now you know um we all have to try and stay positive we have to stay motivated okay you are responsible for your future you're responsible for what happens to you okay so if life hits you you know with all sorts of things then i'm here to tell you don't give up you have to keep keep pushing forward you have to keep moving forward okay um so you know um i'm now you know after a couple a couple years after my surgery and now i have to start radiation because um based on my psa level um it kind of crept crept up a little bit even though my um, prostate was taken out but you know um to be on a preventive to take proactive measures i have to start radiation and radiation has its own effect so if you're a man um i'll strongly suggest that you make sure you have your yearly screening um, so they can check your PSA, which is the marker that they use to determine if you have uh, prostate cancer or any form of cancer. Um, so get your physical done, get your yearly um, checkups done because that's what I was doing. I never missed my yearly checkup. I always had my blood work done. I tried to stay healthy and luckily for me, I'm, I'm surrounded by very good doctors and surgeons that perform the operation on me and I'm here still with you all so i'm very grateful for that but that wouldn't stop me from getting myself to the next level okay we only have a limited time on earth to get our goals to achieve to live a legacy um so as long as you're breathing as long as you have your two hands and you're healthy um you know you got to keep keep pushing forward like i always say in my other videos okay your health is most you know it's it's so it's so important okay you have to take your health seriously i just started a journey where i'm trying to stay fit um i'm doing my weight training i'm doing my aerobics um you know i'm trying to get myself in a better shape okay um, i feel stronger now and i feel more in shape now um, than i was when i was in my 30s okay and i'm 55 okay so I'm just here to tell you that never give up, okay? No matter what life throws at you, stay positive, stay motivated, surround yourself with the right people. You know, sometimes things happen to us in life and we feel dejected and we think, oh, why is this happening to me? But I'm here to tell you it's happening to other people and it's how you handle adversity that separates you from other people, okay? Things happen to you for a reason and it makes you stronger okay so like they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger all right so i'm here to tell you don't give up you know stay positive keep striving to achieve your goals and your and your dreams um you know tune off all the noise all the negativity around you um, most times it's our family that's more negative than even strangers okay so make sure you stay positive take care of your health take care of your of your well-being um push forward you know like I said, my channel is mostly on personal finance and wealth creation, but at the same time, for you to be able to create wealth for yourself, okay, you have to take care of yourself. You have to invest in yourself in terms of your health, in terms of what you put between your ears, okay? Uh, what um, contents do you consume also affects your mindset and how you see things around you. So I hope this, even if it's only one person that this video um, gets to, I'm just here trying to share content with people, I'm just trying to contribute to, you know, to society and, you know, be a form of motivation for people. And I thank you for coming on this journey with me. And um, as usual, if you like my videos, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And also remember to hit the subscribe button so YouTube will notify you of my latest video. So thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I didn't mean for this video to be a downer or just to talk about me. This video is not about me, but I'm just trying to relate with my subscribers to let you know that I am human. I am real. 
Um, I'm a struggling person like everybody. You know, I'm not better than anyone else. Um, I have goals and I have aspirations, but I can't let, you know, a health situation or um, life's challenges put me down or stop me from achieving my goals. Okay, so and you should think the same way. So if you're struggling right now, believe me, it can be tough. It can be challenging for, for you to, you know, live day to day, paycheck to paycheck. But if you come up, if you decide that you want to change your life, it all comes down to you. You got to make that decision to change your life and to take action. Okay, you can read all the books, you can watch all the motivational stuff, but if you don't take action, it means nothing. All right, so I hope you found value in this video. And um, thank you again for being here. And as usual, share this video with someone you think might benefit from it. Um, I know I have subscribers all over the world, but please make sure you share this video with someone um, that might benefit for it. Okay, so thank you again for being here. And as usual, be true to yourself, be true to your goals, and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.